What's going on guys? Hope you all are doing fantastic today. Well, you know what day it is. Wait, you don't, you don't know what day it is? It's freaking TGIFF. It's thank God it's Fragrance Friday. Guys, I got another fragrance haul for you. So I skipped the rack stores this week. I got a bunch of packages in. I got some indie. I got some niche. I got some designers. I got a couple new releases. I might have got some hidden gems or I might have got some flops. So this is one hell of a haul and we got a lot to go over. So stay tuned. Cue that intro. Welcome back, my beautiful fragrance family, to My Two Cents. My name is Brian, and this is the show all about boosting your confidence through the art of fragrance, becoming a lasting scent memory. All right, so I've already got everything unboxed. I've got everything unwrapped. We're gonna do this a little bit quicker this time because we got a lot to go over. But before we get into the haul, I need to make an announcement and ask you guys a question. If you do not want to hear this announcement, you can go ahead and skip about two minutes, maybe three minutes into the video, and you'll get straight into the meat and potatoes. But for those of you who are interested, now that this channel is up to a thousand subscribers, I'm able to do live stream videos. And I would love to do a live Q&A where you guys can ask me a bunch of questions. I can talk to you about my male stripping career. That one's for you, Pete. <laughs> and you guys can, I can spill the beans. Y'all can ask me a bunch of questions, but be prepared. If we're gonna do a live q and A, I'm gonna be asking you, the subscribers, my fragrance family, a bunch of questions as well, because I want to get to know you. So drop me a comment down below if you wanna do a live stream episode, because I would love to do one sooner than later. And Killa Llamas, I know you are excited about this. So drop me some comments down below, let me know if you want it, and we'll make it happen. Also, this is gonna be my last fragrance haul Friday for a few weeks. And the only reason being is because I'm going to start saving my money to put back into this channel. I guess buying fragrances is putting back into this channel, but I am looking at getting some more equipment. I wanna put some more money into this channel so that I can give you the best high quality content possible. Since we're family here, I just wanna be honest with you and let you guys know what's going on. Just like you hitting that notification bell and hitting that subscribe button and throw me up one of these, and dropping me comments down below, I wanna keep you in the know as well. So with all that out of the way, it is time to get into, do y'all smell that? Cause I smell the smelly smell of something that smells smelly. Whiffs and sniffs. So last week I hit up the rag stores because I, I got my orders in to Fragrance Buy and all my, my online discounters and yada, 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 a little bit too late. But I've been sitting on a bunch of boxes, which are sitting right next to me, all unpackaged for a week now. And I've been sitting here like a freaking coke fiend wanting to open all these boxes. And I got some awesome stuff. Well, at least I think I did. So the first one we're going to start off with is a brand new release to 2021. The new John Paul Gaultier's Scandal. Man, I've been waiting for JPG to actually put out a new uh, line of fragrances. I don't know forever. I think we all have. I found this on fragrancebuy.ca. They still have bottles. I got a 50 ml for $65. Yeah, I'm not gonna do the whole box presentation because I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it. I do like the bottle. That's kind of cool, yeah. Batch code information on the bottom. The cap is actually metal with a plastic insert, but who cares about the bottle? Let's see what the juice is like. Now, I have seen reviews on this, and I wasn't exactly sure if I was going to pick it up, but for 65 bucks, I I mean, okay. Gonna be honest, it, it definitely leans pretty young. I'm definitely getting like a large dose of citrus, a lot of sweetness. Clary Sage, I'm guessing, I think that was in the notes, Clary Sage. I know there's caramel. Mmm. But it's really a lot of like a like a mandarin orange, maybe some lemon. Uh, it's it's good. I I just a lot of these designer houses, what they're putting out lately is a lot of very uh, young leaning fragrances because you know the, the younger generation, they're our future. I really hope that the next scandal, uh, the flanker, is leans a little bit more mature. I am starting to detect maybe a little bit of like sweet tonka bean, not a lot of spiciness to it. Lots of clary sage. Maybe a little bit of vetiver, but I, I think that's in the notes. I don't detect a whole lot of it. It'll probably come further in the dry down, but if you'd like to see me do my full review on Scandal, let me know in the comments. But yeah, I mean, it's decent for 67 bucks. FragranceBuy.ca, check it out. 
This next one I'm excited about because it comes from Estoise de Parfums and it's not a blue bottle, 1.2. Yeah. Here's the bottle. It looks just like the first one, but it's got like this paint splatter all over the front. But anyways, I don't know the notes. Let's, let's check it out. So here we go. All right. I love Estoise de Parfums. They, hmm, that's interesting. Anyways, um, Estoise de Parfums, I mean, you can get these 60 mLs. I got this one at Fragrance Buy for, I think, 65, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. I can't remember, maybe 65, $67. Okay, so I don't detect a whole lot of the original in it, though I, 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 maybe the aldehydes. This one leans very unisex. I could see some gentlemen definitely saying that this is more feminine than masculine. There's a lot of florals going on in this. Some nice musks. I'm gonna say maybe some ylang ylang. Uh, maybe a little bit of spiciness from some pepper. It's extremely powdery and very creamy. I like it, but I'm going to have to do some wearing with this. This is way different than the original. It's good, but it also reminds me of something. It kind of reminds me of a Dola from Navatus. A little bit. If you'd like me to do a full review on Estoise de Parfum, not a blue bottle 1.2, let me know in the comments down below. Interesting. Interesting. That's, that's all I can say right now. This next one I used to actually own a full bottle of. Um, and it is a discontinued rare gem, and it's Tom Ford for Men Extreme. I ran through the rest of my bottle, I think it was the beginning of last year. I could not find a bottle of this to save my life for a decent price. This is this was released in 2007, I do believe. And bottles are going for like three, four hundred dollars for a 50 to 100 ml. One of my subscribers, Fred, big shout out to you, man. He DM'd me on Instagram and was like, hey man, Fragrance X, 169 bucks, totally worth it. I jumped on it, love it. I don't know what the batch code information is. I'm like, sometimes I wish some of these discounters would put the batch code and just so you know what year, how old it is. But here's the bottle. It's this like really deep maroonish dark brown bottle, cool gold cap. I mean, it's the old school flat coon style Tom Ford bottle. But I love this fragrance. It's got that truffle note, kind of like Black Orchid. It reminds me a little bit of Plum Japonang. Whoop, I just sprayed my hand. There we go. All right. Mmm, lemon, beautiful aromatics going on. That truffle does so well in it. This reminds me of what Tom Ford started out as. He just was a trendsetter. He did amazing fragrances. A lot of his newer releases and stuff that he's coming out with now that he's been bought out, um, they're not as unique as they used to be. And this right here is just, it's gorgeous. It's something that I wish I could wear more often, but I know I don't want to run out. So if you want a rare hidden gem that is a fantastic release from Tom Ford, Go to Fragrance X and see if they still have this. 50 ml for 169 bucks. Trust me when I say that is an amazing price for this fragrance. My batch code is AB6. I'm not exactly sure how old it is, but I, I will let you know. Mm, so stinking good. This next one, I got at FragranceBuy.ca and it's Fort Manly and it's 40 Thieves. Never smelled anything from this house. Uh, I looked up the price. I looked up the notes. And yeah, I was kind of pumped up. I've seen Michelle over at uh, Curly Fragrance Review, maybe one or two. It's popped up on some of her list videos, but I don't know if I've ever seen 40 Thieves. So, boo, well, cool little 50 ml bottle. I know it's an oud fragrance and I'm gearing up for fall and winter. So here we go. Let's see, let's see what the juice is all about. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, that's nice. That's nice and warm right up top. Uh, ooh, yeah, definitely detect some oud. Maybe some like dark dried fruits. I don't remember if there's rose in this. There are some really nice aromatics, like some dark aromatics. Oh, that's good. Oh, the oud, definitely oud in this. And it's not like a super animalic. It's kind of like a dense, thick oud. More leans on like kind of a powdery side. I am detecting maybe a little bit of rose. It's starting to become more predominant. That's nice. Hmm. 
Fort and Manly. It's an eau de parfum concentration. Like I said, I don't know much about this house, but man, that's, that's good. Let me know if you'd like to know more about Fort and Manly, because uh, I'd love to do a review on this. I think this is going to be stellar in the fall and winter. It's kind of dark and sexy. It's got some nice balsams and resins to it. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. I like that. So this next one, I had never heard of it before. It's actually a brand out of Arizona and it comes from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. I saw Daver over at Fragrance Bros do a episode on these guys and it intrigued me. Now they do do a lot of clones. <laughs> I said do do. Anyways, <laughs> uh, but I didn't get any of their clones. I got this one plus three others and they're coming because I'm very intrigued by these guys. This might be crap, I don't know, but I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty good. And it's called Meta Nectar. And it's an eau de parfum concentration, but uh, apparently this is supposed to be sort of like an atar. So we'll find out. Don't know the notes on it, I just saw it. And I saw Daver recommended it, so. 30 mLs are like $49.95. I don't know if that's worth it or not, so well, let's see. There's definitely orange blossom and vanilla. Patchouli. This is an interesting fragrance. It's very rich. It's very almost barbershop-esque, but not. It's very interesting. It's good. It's really good. You can smell that they use really nice ingredients in it. Maybe a little bit of honey? Maybe honeysuckle? Very intriguing. Yeah, okay, Meta Nectar. Hmm. These guys do a bunch of shaving soaps and basically everything masculine and manly. They do clones, they do their own fragrances. I have three more coming, like I said. They even have a shaving soap that's supposed to smell like ramen. And I'm totally gonna get it. It's gonna remind me of back in college and high school. I used to love ramen. But yeah, Meta Nectar, very interesting. Let me know if you want me to do a full review. Super cool. Next up, I got from fragrancebuy.ca. It's Hugo Boss Oud Aromatic. <laughs> a masculine and strong take on the luxurious oud fragrance with luscious notes of orange flower and seductive myrrh. Okay, I don't own a whole lot of the Boss bottled line. I know these were like special for the Middle East, but everybody talks about oud saffron. I saw this, decided to pick it up. There's the bottle for you. Batch code, normal top. I used to have the original Boss bottle back in the day. Never picked up a new bottle after I went through it. It's known for being that, you know, like apple pie fragrance. It's good. I just wore the crap out of it and just haven't picked up another bottle. I haven't really felt a need to. But let's see what aromatic oud's all about. All right. Ooh, that is actually quite nice. Not a whole lot of oud right up top nice aromatics definitely get the orange blossom i get a little bit of spiciness there's not just orange blossom in this there are other white florals in it and i'm getting that spicy myrrh as it's starting to dry down but i believe there to be a little bit of maybe a little incense or some sort of middle eastern spices in here the oud is becoming more predominant it smells quite synthetic but that's not a bad thing it's actually pretty good it's got a little bit of a like a rubberiness to it but i think it'll be different on skin it could just be the card if you'd like to see me do a full review let me know hmm. so the next one i got i got this from lucky scent and these just launched on lucky scent's website and it comes from the brand new house of milano fragranzi and this one is called diruno i diurno diruno i don't know how to say this but this is the brand new house that was started from the guys over at Mass Milano, and I am super excited about this. Oh, oh man. Well, my box came all broken up. That is a bummer. I don't know if you can see this, but my box is all broken up. I'm guessing this all, I don't know, that, that's, that's poor. That's poor packaging. Anyways, do love this bottle though. I think that is really stinking cool. It says Milano Fragranzi on the top of the bottle cap. Let's see if you can see this. Look at that. This is a nice hefty cap. Oh, and it's magnetic. 
Oh yeah, like it even more. There you go. Now I did look up the notes on this. I believe this is a boozy fougere. So right up my alley. I don't remember the note breakdown, but I remember that I think there's lavender and amaretto in it. Oh, nice pressurized atomizer. Love the magnetic cap. Man, that's stinking awesome. Definitely some amaretto. Nice almondy opening that with a with some nice citrus. It smells like possibly some Sicilian mandarin or lemon, maybe some bergamot. Oh, the aromatics are beautiful. Florals are gorgeous. And it starts out a little boozy. That's kind of cool. Oh, this is quite nice. This is very natural smelling. This is awesome. Wow. Okay, so the next two fragrances that I'm about to show you, I was going to put on. I'm not wearing anything. I just got out of the shower. I'm putting this on. Screw that. This is freaking awesome. Wow. Oh, man, it smells so much better on skin. It's definitely lavender with some really nice opulent lavender. Now, definitely, I'm going to review this whether or not you want me to because this is awesome. I'm definitely going to pick up more from this house. I love Mass Milano. And for a 100 ml bottle, you can get these for like 145 bucks. It sucks that my box came in like this, but the rest of the presentation, awesome. Fragrance, spectacular. Freaking spectacular. So the next two fragrances are from the same house. Trying to dive more into the house. And it comes from Roja. Roja Parfums. And I decided to go with the Pour Ohms, the Parfum Pour Ohm. And this one is Vetiver Pour Ohm. So instead of going with the Kingdom Fragrance Parfum Cologne deal, I went with Max Aroma. And the reason I did so is because I got this bottle plus another Roja Parfum Pour Ohm bottle for $65 more than I could get this full retail. Yeah, I do really like these bottles. Now, I would not pay $485 full retail for, for this. I'm just gonna let you know. So the Parfum Colognes are terrible on my skin. Maybe the Parfum Pour Homes will do better. I don't know, but here we go. Beautiful atomizer. Okay, man. All right, this is a lot different than the Parfum Cologne. Nice and woody, actually, to start right out, but you're gonna get like this nice, smells like lemon, nice citrusy, juicy lemon. And then the aromatics come rolling in. I mean, this is a beautifully blended fragrance. It's got that old school style to it. It's got that Roja Dove mastermind behind it. Oh yeah, lots of beautiful Air Max, lots of woodiness coming through. It's, it's, it's a beautiful fragrance, it is. Hopefully the Vetiver Parfum Pour Homme does better on my skin than the Parfum Colognes, so we'll see. And the next one I got is also from Roja, and it is Scandal. Now, like I said, Vetiver and Scandal are my two favorites uh, from the Parfum Cologne collection. And I want to see how these hold up against those. Okay, so let's find out. I can probably tell you right off rip. Man, again, beautiful atomizers. And I do really like these bottles. They are beautiful bottles. I mean, this, this is definitely a lot richer than the Parfum Cologne. The lemon, way more pronounced. Way more bright. Way more citrusy. Um, it definitely got some animalic touches to it coming from the ambergris and oak moss. Mint. Awesome awesome the pedigree in it amazing as well oh man tarragon is again very much more pronounced it's a lot more rich it's more in depth it's deeper i definitely want to dive more into the house of rosa parfums because his fragrances are fantastic the prices not so much definitely luxury though definitely a luxury brand so yeah scandal really stinking good huh <laughs> And I realized that I got two scandals. I got JPG scandal, and I got Roja Dove scandal. Two completely different sides of the spectrum there. Anyways, so guys, if there are any fragrances out of this bunch that you would like me to do full reviews on, let me know in the comments down below. 
Uh, yeah, I got some amazing fragrances. I got a lot of testing to do. I'm super pumped up because a lot of these are going to be great in the fall and winter time. For So the season's coming up. I'm looking so forward to layering. But that is it for me this evening, guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And if you enjoyed today's episode, then do me a favor and like, comment, share, and subscribe. And always remember, you are stinking beautiful. And until next time, happy scent trails. Mm -hmm.